The Barrows, one of RuneScape's most nostalgic pieces of content. I'm sure nearly all of you watching remember doing this activity as a noob, trying to earn your first few million GP. Well, it's not going to be quite the same fun-filled trip down memory lane for me this time around, as I cannot leave the Barrows until I've received every single item that it has to offer. Dear Lord, what a sad little life. This is Cannabis Chunk. I've spent over 3,000 hours on this account attempting to explore the entire RuneScape map one chunk at a time. I have to complete every task in each chunk I roll before I can unlock a new one. I've completed many grinds ranging from hundreds to thousands of hours, but right now, it's time to do some barrows and finally enjoy this account. We pick Canopus Chunk up having done 400 barrows chests in the last video and currently I'm on a bit of a dry streak. You've been playing for a while, consider taking a break from your screen. As you'll remember, I left the last video off on 400 Barrows kill count, and we're now up to 435, and I've not had an item. I also didn't have an item for a significant amount of time before that, but either way, I've played for 4 hours and done 35 chests, and got absolutely nothing. What a way to start this video. One of the top comments on the last episode of Cannabis Chunk said the following. You have the armor stand at the edge of your spawn in PvP Worlds unlocked. You should be able to repair Barrow's armor there. Now, I may be a fool sometimes. <coughs> Alco defense. <coughs> um, however, I'm 99% sure that these armor stands don't work for Barrow's gear. So, let's go and find out. Now, we are in a PvP world, as is obvious by the bank chest here in Edgeville, but there is indeed an armor stand here, and the YouTube comments seem to think it's the best. I've checked the wiki, and it is visibly exactly the same, and yet it does not work for Barrow's gear, which is very weird, because there is no listing, as far as I can tell, on the RuneScape wiki to differentiate this armor stand from the one that you do get in the player-owned house. And the one in the player-owned house categorically can fix Barrow's gear. When I examine this one, it says can be used to repair certain untradeable gear. So my thought is probably that what you can do is use like broken Avernic defenders or fire capes or whatever on this instead of on Purdu and it will fix it, but you definitely cannot use it for Barrow's gear. Like I, there's no left click on that, just examine, you can't use these items on it. So yeah, it doesn't work for Barrow's gear, but you are, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm surprised that like it doesn't work because seemingly this is exactly the same item and it doesn't work for Barrow's gear. So yeah. Don't know what that's about, but <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, so I just took a look at the screenshots folder, and my suspicions were correct. The last item that I got was on chest number 365. So we're currently, what, 72 dry <laughs> of an item on a 1 in 15? 72 dry on a 1 in 15. That is madness. Why am I like this? Why can this account only ever get like back four back or nothing? Well, what am I doing? And the moment is upon us. Are we going to hit five times the rate and 75 chests without an item? Yes, we are. Brilliant. Oh my goodness. What is this RNG? Come on! And with this chest, we are hitting 465 total kill count, which means that we are 100 chests dry. That is more, nearly seven times the rate. You have an approximately one in a thousand chance of not getting an item in 100 chests. 
So surely this one's going to be a quadruple chest to make up for it, right? <sighs> what am I doing? Hey, yes! And it's a unique 103 chests dry for that. Arim's robe skirt. That is a very nice one to get. Oh, I'm so happy that I broke the dry streak with a unique because that actually kind of makes it worth it. Aram's robe skirt's actually so huge as well. Uh, that gives me three out of four on Aram's, I think. I'm just missing the hood. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to finally break that dry streak, honestly. Oh, yes, our first double chest. Sadly, though, sadly, we have both of those items, so they're just dupes. But we just got our first double chest on 484. Oh, that's so nice. Love that. Are, they, are either of these worth anything? Not really. <laughs> Not really. About 500k for both. Oh, I can't believe we hit two items and neither of them were uniques. No. Oh, well, at least they're dupes. That are. are they relatively usable? Du I guess so. I guess Varax flails. Varax full set's relatively usable and Darox full set's relatively usable. Oh, double chest though. That's very sick. It is a sad, sad day. I've dropped below 10 million air runes, so... It is time to buy some more. Can't, uh, I can't not have that green stack of air runes now that I've had it. It's too, uh, too addicting to look at. Luckily, I can fill up quite easily here at the, uh, Varrock rune shop. But, yeah, green stack of air runes go. <laughs> oh, I just realized I forgot to record the clip. Uh, we just hit 500 Barrows chests. <sighs> I wonder how many more 500 milestones we're going to get to. Are we ha are we all right if we get to 1000? I'll probably be getting pretty upset if we get to 1500. I think I'll be getting pretty depressed by the time we get to 2000. So hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can wrap this up somewhere between 1000 and 1500. Now, 500 total kill count seems like a good point to hit you with a fun Barrows fact. Draconic visages only come from dragons, right? Well, nowadays they do, but for a brief time between January 4th and January 11th, 2012, you could actually get one from the Barrow's Chest. For one week, you could open up the Barrow's Chest and had a chance at receiving the visage. The best part is that these weren't even rare and resulted in the visage crashing from 10 mil to under 7 mil. Weird one, right? Anyway, bad sparrows. Oh no, another dupe. Guthin's War Spear. Not one of the real good ones either. I guess full Guthin's is like okay. Uh, at least we're getting items though. At least we're getting items. I can't complain. I just want to kind of string together a few items. My internal thought process at the moment is if I can get an, a unique item per day. I'll be happy, and I guess I have achieved that today because I got the Aram's robe skirt, but <sighs> another dupe. I wish that was like six mil like it used to be. Come on. Oh, another unique, uh, not another, another dupe. Oh, 507 for the dupe Carol's leather top. Oh, hopefully I can go on a run of uh, uniques at some point soon, but Oh, uh, <laughs> this is going to get frustrating quickly, isn't it? Just getting dupe after dupe after dupe. Getting drops from Barrows is exciting, but what's even more exciting is buying a new PC, especially so if you shop with this channel's long-term partner, Apex Gaming. As a streamer myself, building a PC for a reasonable price that can cope with the demands of gaming, uploading, recording, and having a dozen Chrome tabs open is harder than you'd think, and Apex take all of this stress away with their pre-built PC, the Apex Streamer Plus. 
32 gigabytes of DDR5-5200 RAM, a Ryzen 5 7600X, and an RTX 4060 is more than enough to power through any amount of stress that gaming can put on your system, and it does so for a very reasonable price. Check out this PC and dozens of others that Apex have to offer at the link in the description and use my code FRAY at checkout to get an additional 10% off your purchase. Thank you. And there is level 84 defense. Very exciting. Let's try and not get one hit by Darok while we're talking about it. 84 defense, 300k XP to go till level 85. Uh, the magic level is over level 100 now as well. So we're certainly drowning in XP. Hopefully soon we'll be drowning in unique drops instead. Okay, so good and bad news. The good news is last night I got a Guthans plate body. Uh, to put on the log, one of the most hilarious looking items in the game. Things it makes you uh, get a little dad bod. Looks like me in real life. Um, but what that is for us, though, is another collection log slot. So we're now 16 out of 24, so we've got eight items to go. Mostly over on the Torax and Varax side of the equation. We're doing pretty well on these four. Three out of four, well, three out of four on these three, and four out of four on the Carols, and then just one and two on Torax and Varax. Uh, I did get a screenshot of it, which hopefully I have or will put on the screen. Um, and yeah, not too bad, though we did make a bit of a colossal fuck up last night. Uh, so we went from a big W and getting a Guthans plate body to panicking and teleporting away. And I accidentally on mobile clicked the Camelot teleport instead of the Varrock teleport. So... We now have one out of 43 on the Kandarin tasks because I accidentally teleported to Camelot. And we have also unlocked the music track uh, Camelot as well. So that was a bit of an error. Uh, account ruined, but... Oh, sorry, yawning. Hopefully you can get past that and we can keep uh, keep getting some items at Barrow's. Uh, Barrow's tab, not looking too bad at the moment. Oh, there is a Carol's Coif. Not ideal, but that is the last item that I needed to have a full dupe set of Carol's. Uh, so I now have literally an entire set spare of Carol's. And actually, out of the Carol's items, this one's probably actually relatively good for me. Because obviously I had a black dehyde top and black dehyde uh, legs. But I never had like a range helmet, so I feel like having a Carol's Coif is actually quite useful, and having as many of those spare as possible, definitely a good thing. First 100% chest that I've done on this whole account in 553 chests. Surely this is going to be an item, right? No, I did get 74 bolt racks. That's not too bad. Maybe I should be doing the 100% chest and just stacking a load of bolt racks. I don't know. Oh, yes! Yes, I thought that wasn't a unique for a second. Yes! Arim's hood unique. Things you love to see. Now, that is one of the items that I was kind of like hoping I'd get last. But I don't actually have a mystic hat. Uh, so that's actually like by far a best in slot for me. So that's pretty good. Oh, I guess I've got the Elder Chaos Druid hood. So it's uh, it's not that massive. But... It is a unique, and we are now down to seven items to go, and I believe that is our second full set, and we now have full Ariams and full Carols. Ah, oh, that's huge. That's so nice. The 50k subscribers by the new year goal is well and truly still on. So if you're enjoying this video or enjoy this series, then please consider subscribing. It's free and 45% of you can make your eighth favorite content creator very happy by doing so. Thanks, boys. And 1.6% girls and 0.2% unspecified. <laughs> yes! Yes! What a, what an item to get. Varax plate skirt. That is an extremely fat W right there. 
That is probably the best item for me in the long run, I think. That's like a dragon plate skirt on steroids with prayer bonus. Like, oh, I think that item has got plus four prayer bonus. That's actually wild. Right, let's put this thing on and have, have a little look at it, shall we? Right. Uh, I need to get out of combat first because I don't want to break it in an ideal world. Um, Varix plate skirt, equip. Look at that thing compared to the dragon plate skirt. It's like plus 20 on the defense is better. And it's got plus four prayer bonus. Oh, it's kind of a good looking item as well, isn't it? That's juice. And I didn't notice when I opened the chest, but we just hit 600 chests down. That is a crazy number of barrage chests considering how little time I've been in this chunk. Uh, we're going to keep pushing up to 1,000 and hopefully tick off some, if not all, of the items in the collection log before then. Wish me luck. Ah, oh, not ideal. But we at least get a new item. Well, not a new item. We at least get a replacement Arim staff. Which means we can go back to using the Arim staff and get the plus one or two max hit that it gives. So Arim staff is probably one of the better dupes we can get. But we still want to avoid dupes where we can. Oh, the 38 is so fat. Oh, the two hit on the giant rat. This staff goes crazy. So our last Arim staff is in the bank at like a low percentage within the 25. But we've obviously got our new one now, which means that we can enjoy that max hit of 31 instead of 30. Now, doesn't sound like a lot. But it is like multiple percentage points in DPS. So I think, you know, worth using. Like where else am I going to use this in the future that it's going to be like, like any of the chunks like that I might roll in the future. I can't really see why an Aram staff would be better than just using it at Barrows. So I think just using it is the right thing to do. Oh, we did get a, well, not a unique, we did get a Barrows item, but unfortunately, not one that's too relevant to us. Guth and Spear, that is our third one of those. If only they were still like six mil each, eh? <laughs> but 630 kill count, at least we're still getting items now. Um, and if we can kind of keep up the RNG, keep getting items, it's only, you know... A matter of time until we get some that we need. Oh, another dupe. Varax Helm. We still need the Varax Brassard from the Varax set as well. Oh, getting all the dupes at the minute. At least, at least we're not going dry between items at the minute. And I'm like getting one every trip. So I will definitely take that. Varax Helm's a cool item as well. So I'm pretty happy to have that. Oh, awesome. I just hit 50. 15 million magic XP. I wonder how high that's going to get by the time we finish this chunk. That's a pretty cool milestone, though. Oh, Carol's crossbow. We just keep getting items, and none of them are unique. Carol's crossbow, again, though, relatively interesting uh, as far as they go. We're not getting dupes of, like, bad items that I don't want, really. So... Yeah, I guess that's relatively interesting. The Carol's Crossbow is an interesting item. On the surface, it seems like a fantastic item for me for training range. It is comparable to the crossbow in terms of strength, and the ammo is entirely viable, saving me from endless grinding in the Revenant Caves for Revenant Ether when using ranged outside of the wilderness. Akaranu's exotic shop, located in Port Phasmatis, is well and truly within my chunks and sells bolt racks for 50 GP each. Each. And with 450 mil in alcohols in the bank, this seems like an essentially unlimited amount of ammo for me to use with my Carol's crossbow. Alas, no. At Karanu's shop, which only sells bolt racks, for some reason is only accessible after assembling the three map pieces during the Ghosts Ahoy quest, the exact step of Ghosts Ahoy that I'm stuck on. 
To complete this quest, you need a selection of dyes to colour the model ship's sails, and sadly, these are items that I am nowhere close to getting, with the closest dye merchant being all the way south and west in Draenor. The only other means I have of getting bolt racks in my chunks is from the barrow's chest itself. However, you get them in extremely limited quantity and have to waste loads of time in the barrow's crypt tunnels, making sure you have 100% reward potential, thus making going for them a waste of time. If this is the best method, it would actually be faster for me to go back to the Revenants and harvest ether for the crossbow, something I'd like to avoid if possible. However, there is actually a third way, the Last Man Standing Reward Shop. Now, this isn't actually a shop that I can access right now. I am locked out of Last Man Standing until I get 1500 total, but once I do, you can actually buy 200 bolt racks per point. Again, this is relatively slow if you're doing it for the express purpose of getting bolt racks. However, if a certain somebody, it's me, needed to get a thousand win cape at last man standing anyway once they hit 1500 total level, then they would likely have a ton of points left over after purchasing all of the unique rewards. Points that they could spend on hundreds of thousands of bolt racks. Completely zero time, and completely efficiently. So, all of this to say, getting dupe Carol's crossbows will be excellent in the near future. Just not right now, but keep an eye out for them. Oh, back to back, oh. Back to back, straight into the Arim's robe skirt. Again, yet another non-unique, it's at least big for the bank value, I guess. Oh, that's so upsetting. Back to back and neither of them unique. We've had five items today and none of them have been uniques. Surely, surely the next item is going to be unique, right? Oh, double chest and I need neither of the items. No. Oh my goodness. That's the second double chest that I've had. Carol's Coif number four, I think. Is that number four or is that number three? I'm not sure. It looks like we're heading to three full sets of Carol's though. And our, what is that? Fourth Dark Plate Body? Third Dark Plate Body? I don't even know anymore. Oh, <laughs> that is so annoying. Oh, come on, at least at least we're getting uniques. We had seven uniques today. None of them ones that we actually need collection log slots oh that's so brutal it's cool seeing a double chest though i will say that oh i think that's the most expensive item oh that's so upsetting looks pretty cool on the ground though oh arim's robe top so we've had a ram ra arim's robe top and an arim's robe skirt today We've had eight items today and none of them have been unique. So that is, oh, that is upsetting. But at least it's a high value one, eh? Uh, and it, we're one Arim's hood away from our full second set of Arim's. Why can we not just get some Torags? Like, come on. Okay, relatively high pressure chest because we are out of food and we're on 31 hit points. But we're obviously going to get some Darok's plate legs right now. Just kidding, I guess. But there is chest number 700, uh, which means we're kind of halfway through the chests we're going to do in this video because we started at 400. We're going to go to 1000. Uh, and the collection log is looking pretty good, I would say. So we've obviously got our full carols, got our full arims. We're one off on Darox, Guthans, and Varak. And then we've always got the three Torax pieces. Which is kind of wild that we're that dry on specifically Torag. Um, I don't know how many items or how many uniques I should have at 700. But I don't think I'm mad at having six left. I'm hoping by a thousand I'm going to have two left. Um, so yeah, hopefully that works out. But that is the loot from the first 700 chests.
Do you think there is a single extreme one chunk Iron Man with a better stash of runes than this? I mixed up the invent so that I didn't have to keep banking the mind chaos and death runes. And just look at the main four stacks of runes there. That is madness. Like nearly two, like, you know, around the 200,000 figure of each of them. That is wild. I'd be interested to know if anyone like in the one chunk, extreme one chunk community has more of any of these particular runes. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying it'd be interesting to know if they have uh, more of any single one of these than I do, because that is just an absolutely monumental set of stacks to look at. Oh, come on! How many dupes can we get in a row? And that is the first one that I've got four of. Come on, please. Darox plate body. Oh, at least it's a good one. At least it's a good one because I want Darox items because Darox items are like the best, I think, anyway. I think Darox is probably going to be the set with the most use for me going forward just because the DPS on it is so good. So, uh, yeah, if, if I'm going to get dupes, Darok dupes I'm happy with. Oh my goodness. Drowning in the Darox items. Just dupe after dupe after dupe. That's three helms and four plate bodies, and I still need the plate legs. Come on, don't do this to me again. This is definitely going to be a... Uh, Thammer and Scepter Vigora's chain mace situation all over again, isn't it? Oh, we've got half of a full Darok set in our invent now, and none of it is the piece that I need. No! Oh, double chest, double weapon, and neither of the items I need again! What is it with the double chests and not giving me stuff that I need? Oh, that is so heartbreaking. That is the third staff and the fourth Carol's crossbow. Oh, breaking a 35 dry streak with those two. Luckily, the Arium staff is actually one of the better items to get a dupe of because I do actually use them. Oh, that is so infuriating. The double chest again for nothing that I can use. Come on, give me something new. Let's just open the double chest again. Oh, yes! Yes! Back to back with a double chest for the Darox plate legs. That is absolutely massive. Oh my goodness. That is huge. As if we just got the back to back with that. That's wild. Double chest straight into a collection log slot. That is crazy, and if we look very carefully right here, one, two, three. This is an extreme one chunk Iron Man, by the way, with the full Darox on. That is wild. I'm so excited to test this out and see what my max hit is and stuff. Because I have a very strong suspicion that this is going to be my best in slot gear outside of the wilderness. Uh, look at that. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. And uh, if we look at the collection log slot, that means we've got three fully completed sets now, these three on the left, and we have two that we need one item of, the Varix and the Guthans, so we're still needing three items from Torax in particular, which is quite wild, but, oh my god, that is huge. That is probably the number one set that I wanted the most. What I'm hoping for now is if I'm going to get dupes, I hope they're dupe great axes and dupe plate legs, because having multiple full sets of Darox will be very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's massive. Oh, that's huge. And they're like my first tank legs as well, I think, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no, I guess I got the various plates go, which is basically a tank legs. But, oh, that is massive. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Oh, my goodness. What is it with the Darax helms? They're magnetized to me. That is the fifth. Fifth. Darox Helm, what is that about? That's so crazy.
Five Darok's Helms, zero Guthans Helms, zero Torax Helms. What are the odds on that? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Why was that guy getting, like, starred hit splats? I think he had, like, burning claws equipped, but I don't think I've ever seen someone use that. That was so weird. I've literally never seen that before. And there is chest number 800. We're currently on a dry streak of 30, which is double the rate. So hopefully we can turn that around soon. But 800 chests seems like a lot, eh? Um, I ran some maths, or rather I got someone else to run some maths for me. Someone actually can do maths. And uh, apparently I should have about two items left to get right now and I've got five so we're currently going quite dry hopefully hopefully that'll turn around soon oh and there is the item it took 36 chests to get looks pretty nifty on the ground imagine they all just dropped on the ground that'd be cool that is sadly another dupe though and I think that is our third Varax helm so, uh, oh, it's annoying, but it's at least a decent item. I do quite like the Varys Helm. It's probably one of the better looking items as well. And at least, at least we've broken the dry streak. Oh my god. As if we got another Darox Helm. That is pure pain. <laughs> Why have I had six Darox Helms now? Like, what? Oh my goodness. That's so upsetting. Oh my goodness, we just cannot get unique items at the moment. A Is that a fourth Guthan Spear or a third Guthan Spear? I think it's a fourth Guthan Spear, and I don't have a Guthan's Helm, so that's a bit brutal. Um, oh, come on, please give me some more unique items. At least I didn't go hopelessly dry for that, that's the main thing. Surely we can get some more items, come on. Yes! Yes! New collection log. Torag's helm. That is massive. Oh, excuse me. I'm like dying of illness here right now. You can probably tell it in my voice. But there we go. Our second Torag's item. And we are now down to just four items to go. Oh, it feels like we're getting close now. Yeah, oh, that is so nice. It's such a crap item. I will say that. <laughs> like, whoever has worn that, like, for real, like, just look how bad that looks. But it's finally a unique. I'm so happy. Oh, the old Arim's robe top coming in. How many is that? I think that's three Arim's robe tops. Mad that they're four mil when so many other of the like iconic expensive items like the Guthan spear and the varix helm are like absolutely worthless um at least we're getting items though at least we're getting items still got the torag helm in my invent so can't turn down getting a unique and the most expensive item nearly back to back that's pretty cool oh no the varix item which is a set that i do need but I need the brassard and not the flail. That is our third flail. I don't know what it is with the weapons. I'm like absolutely um, focused on getting weapons. I had all of the weapons from like 300 kill count onwards. And I've got like four spears, four crossbows, three staffs, now three flails. So hyper focused on those. Like, come on, give me the items I need. I'll tell you what I did just notice though that we have finally hit 300,000 death runes. That is crazy. I mean, obviously, I got a lot of those originally from the Revenants and from uh, Vetion, but. Hitting 300,000 of Barrows is mad, and likely we're nowhere near done with Barrows, so we're going to add to that tally even more. That's pretty sick. 300,000 death runes. I don't know if I've ever seen that 
on like any Iron Man before. Never mind an extreme one chunk. That's crazy. Oh, yes, yes. We got another collection log slot. I'm so happy about that one because I believe that that is full Guthans. Oh my God, that is our fourth full set and we are now just waiting on three items. Oh my goodness, the Guthans Helm. One of my favorite, favorite items from Barrows as well. It just looks so unbelievably good. Let's see if I can get out of combat here and stick it on for a second. Uh, one second, let's just safe spot this. Look at that, like such a juicy item. Oh, I love that item so much. That is so good. Oh, I'm so happy about that. On chest 868 as well. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yes. I just did the two rats in a row. Go on, spawn another one. Ah, oh, I'm always, I'm always excited to see how many rats I can hit in a row, and the fat two straight in a row, one hit is very nice. Ah, oh, I'm so gutted this spawned instead of another one. Sad times. Okay, we are finally back at the bank, and just look at this. I look like something ripped straight out of 2006. The full Guthans in the inventory. I look like I'm about to go kill some abyssal demons or or, uh, or uh, gargoyles and like boot this on to heal back some hit points, but just look at that. I am a certified Giga Chad. Look at the beer belly as well. Oh, I look unbelievable. Unbelievable. Looks The Guthans legs actually look so tidy by themselves, but with the full kit, oh my god. I am Mr. Mauritania. Just look at the state of that. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, yes! Oh, my God, the RNG is coming in. That is, like, the back... Well, it's not back to back, there's about 17 items in between. But that is, like, straight after the Guthans Helm. Oh, my goodness. That is so big. Oh... The Torag's body, yes. Right, let's have a little look at that bad boy. I am massive. Look at the state. It's got the same gut. Why does the Guthans body have such bad PR? Because it's got exactly the same gut as that one does. I am huge. Look at the shoulders on that. Oh my god, right. That is our third last item. We are now just looking for Torag's legs and the Varax Brassard. And then we are done. That feels Insane. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how much the RNG has just turned around in like the last 150 chests or so. Oh, I was like I was like badly dry on uniques and now I'm like probably pretty much on rate. That is big. That is so big. And there is another Varax flail. That's so annoying because that's the fourth one. And the Varax Brassard is one of the items that we need. <sighs> Come on, next time, next time. Ah, oh, yet again, another Arim's body. Getting so many of those. I mean, I guess it's one of the nicer items to get because it is so valuable. Another four mil. We've got four of those now. Sixteen million in Aram's robe tops alone. That is kind of crazy. I mean, maybe I should just start using them. But I guess there's no point in Barrows. But yeah, Aram's robe top number four. And there is nine hundred Barrows chests. That seems like so many. I don't really appreciate how high that's getting until I like hit these milestones. I'm like bloody hell. 900 Barrows chests in like, I don't know, two weeks or something. That's a lot. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a nice little surprise level. I was just having a drink. 85 defense. Very cool. That's like a milestone. That, to me, is always the level where it feels like, yeah, now I've made it. I distinctly remember having 85 attack. Uh, as a young child going for my first... I think I had a cooking cape at the time, untrimmed, and I was killing Dagonoffs. And I remember getting 85 attack and thinking, yeah, 
I've made it. <laughs> but yeah, 85 defense and only 56 levels till the big 1500. Oh, another pretty cool item on 911 kill count. That is our fourth one of those as well. Uh, but they are very sick items. Like, look at the carol's leather top. It's so good. I'm so gutted that I can't wear them. Well, I, obviously I can wear them because I just did. <laughs> but what I mean is that I can't use them with, like, impunity, right? Because I can't repair them. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to soon. Because I do think actually rolling Lumbridge would be a pretty cool chunk to roll. Um, and also rolling a POH would be a pretty cool chunk to roll. So hopefully we get one of those too soon. Okay, it is not a Barrows clip. Confirmed, this is not a Barrows clip, everyone. Put that onto farming. Level 44 farming. You can now grow an irrit leaf. We're up to 44 farming. We've never grown a herb or nothing. That is crazy. Oh, the Guthans War Spear. I think there's going to be a lot of this from now on. Just get in dupes. Oh, and there is the Carol skirt. Now, I believe, I believe that that takes us up to three full Carol sets before we've completed Torak or Varax. Come on. Oh, back to back, Darok's legs. Oh, why could they not have been the Torag's legs? It's not the end of the world, I guess, because that now actually completes my second full set of Darox, and I do think Darox is my best set uh, in terms of being an upgrade over everything else. One million coins worth of Darox legs as well, so that's pretty cool. Oh, they're a nice-looking item as well. They are a nice-looking item. And tank legs, tank legs on an Iron Man... Always useful. Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness! Why am I so lucky at the moment? Tor rags at plate legs. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and that is the full set of Tor rags. One of each piece. Oh, my goodness. We're on to... The last item. We literally need one more Barrows item to finish. And that item is... Let's just have a quick look. What is it? I feel like I know. The Varax Brassard. Literally the last item that we need. That means we could be like any chest. Any chest could be our last chest. That is nuts, man. Look, oh, that just looks so good. 24 of 25 at 966. I feel like I'm slightly lucky now. Please, please just let me spoon that last Varax item. That would be so good. No fucking way. No way. I've still got the other Dorax plate legs in my invent. Oh my goodness. Back to, not back to back, because there was one chest in between, but two sets of Torax plate legs in three chests. Oh my god, imagine if that had been the Barracks Brassard instead of a second pair of Torax plate legs. What are the odds on that? Oh my god. <laughs> As if it went from the only Torax item I don't have to the only Torax item I've got more than two, like more than one of in... Three chests. What the fuck? So our staff is down to 25, which means it can join our other staffs. Iron staff 25, three of those, that's crazy. And then we can chuck in both of our pairs of Torag's legs, leaving us with just the one slot left for the Varix Brassard. So this is the exact order that I actually got all of the items in. Um, well, you know, like the first item that I got the, when I got it as a unique and just uh, like the luck to just string these ones together all in a row has been pretty good. Between about, I think, 700 and 950 KC, we have got 
a very nice run of uniques, which is very nice. Oh, that tab looks so good. So good. You are joking. A third pair of Torox plate legs in a row. I haven't had an item since I got that second pair. As if. How has that happened that Torag's legs have gone from one of the two items that I need to having three of them back to back? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that RNG? Oh, the Carol's coif. Not an ideal item, but an item nonetheless. I think that's our fourth one. Fourth one. Crazy. Now, courtesy of our boy Milo, I'm hosting a three bond giveaway in Discord, which, because I'm an Iron Man, I don't really know, I'm led to believe is actually a disgustingly large amount of money these days. All you need to do is join my Discord link below, go to the events channel, go to the Barrows Bank Google document that will be in there, and enter your guess as to how valuable my Barrows tab will be by the time I finish the Barrows chunk. As a hint, right now, it's 47.4 mil after nearly 1,000 chests. And here we go with a pretty big moment. Opening this chest, number 1,000 on the Barrow's chest counter. That is crazy that we've done that many this quickly. Let's pull up our collection logs and have a little look. So we've hit 1,000 kill count and we have one item left only. Now, this looks like a really fantastic set of items, and I'll be honest, it is. But one of the interesting things to note is we have 61 total items here. If we use the drop rate from the chest, including the chance to get multiple items per chest, we should have... 70 items, so we're actually short six individual items, which is quite unlucky to be, no, not six, nine, we're down nine individual items. So that's kind of crazy, like we uh, we should have nine more numbers of items on here, which is like a lot, right? Like the chance of us getting the Varynx Brassard in nine items is relatively high. Now I'm not going to complain though, because we do have relatively a lot of one-offs, which is quite good. Like, our whole Guthans armor set here is one-offs. As is, like, most of our Torag set, our Varric skirt, our Aram's hood. So we do have a lot of one-offs, which is quite good, because that is good luck, right? Because I only really need, like, one of each item. And, you know, we could definitely have, like, seven uh, Aram's hoods, no Guthans helm, no Guthans body, no Guthans Torag's, uh, Torag's body, you know, stuff like that, right? So we're in a relatively good spot, one item to go, but hitting 1,000 kill count, that does feel very, very epic. Now, what an episode this has been. Just look at the item stack. So obviously we've got all of these runes now. A lot of these came from other content, but just having white stacks of all of those Barrows runes is very, very cool. And just the full invent of Barrows gear minus the Varix Brassad is pretty crazy. The full Darox, very nice. The full Arims, the full Carols. The full Guthans, the full Torags, and the nearly, <laughs> nearly full Varax. I mean, how cool do some of these sets look? Which one is your favorite? Um, leave that in the comments below because that's, uh, I, I can never decide. I think possibly Carol's is the best looking. I mean, how baller is that? That is so cool, especially with the Ranger boots. Looks very epic. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back in the next one. Um, we will be finishing barriers in the next video. Well, we will be finishing barriers or we'll be finishing on an absolutely disgusting amount of kill count. But assuming we get anywhere even vaguely normal luck, the next video will be finishing barriers and hopefully rolling another chunk. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and not to forget the channel members, with a massive shout out in particular to Patrick Wright, Jean Scallon, Talfain, Mike Moran, Fuklas, 
and Bodge Boss. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting the channel. Much appreciated. See you in the next one.